Namaste dear learners, this is chapter 3, chemical substances and processes. It should be processes. Class 7, science. The first one is fill in the blanks. First is materials made up of same, same kind of particles are called pure substances. The type and number of particles of each kind present in a substance is given by its chemical formula. The chemical formula of a water is H2O. Iron gets rusted on coming in contact with oxygen and moisture. The process that leads, leads to a chemical change is a called chemical reaction. In a neutralization reaction, salt and water is water are formed. B part is true and false. So let's proceed. Question number one. All matter is made up of atoms. True. Statement two. Compound, compounds are substances consisting of two or more elements chemically combined in a fixed ratio. This is true statement. Third is the symbol of element copper is Cu. That is true. Formula of sodium chloride is written as ClNa. This is wrong. Positive ion is written first false statement the chemical formula of aluminium sulfate is al2so4 this is false valency has to be crisscrossed question number uh, statement six new substance formed in a chemical reaction is called product true magnesium hydroxide is acid no it is a base take the correct option the chemical symbol ag represents the element silver Question number two, one molecule of nitric acid is made up of one atom of nitrogen, one atom of hydrogen, one atom of nitrogen and three atoms of oxygen. See, this is the formula of HNO3, nitric acid. So, one atom of hydrogen, one atom of nitrogen and three atoms of oxygen. And the chemical formula of magnesium phosphate is Mg3PO4. The following reaction is an example of this is displacement reaction. The chemical formula of quicklime is CaO. Now answer in brief. What are elements? The substances which are made up of same kind of atoms are called elements. Give the chemical symbol of iron and chloride. Iron is Fe and chloride is Cl. Question number three. Write the chemical formula of following compounds aluminum oxide and zinc acetate. Aluminium oxide Al2O3 and zinc acetate CH3COO whole 2 Zn. Balance the following equation. And you know that the number of atoms to the right must be equal to the number of atoms to the left. That is reactants and products. Number of at atoms must be equal. So this way here 2 transcript and 2 transcript here. This is balanced now. Question number 5. What does a chemical equation represent? Chemical equation represents a chemical reaction and formula of substance involved in the reaction. Question number 6. What are reactants and products in a chemical equation? Reactants are substances which undergo a chemical change in a reaction and products are the new substances formed after the chemical reaction. Question number 7. Give one example of combination reaction. The combination of nitrogen and hydrogen gas to form ammonia is an example of combination reaction. Nitrogen gas, hydrogen gas and this is formed ammonia gas. The ammonia gas is evolved. Now answer the following question. Fighting. Uh, question number one write the steps involved in writing the chemical formula of calcium phosphate to write the formula of calcium phosphate we write, first write the symbols for calcium and phosphor ions along with their charges just like this now there are no common factors in the number corresponding to their charges we now crisscross their charges and write their cross numbers as transcript against the two charges like this crisscross means this is this is moved here this is moved here
like crisscross means this charge is this charge is this valency is moved here and this is moved this side so this three is here and this two is here for so this way the formula is formed is made I hope this is clear this part is moved this side and this part is moved this side and this way calcium phosphate formula is generated now how is chemical change different from a physical change this is physical change and this is chemical change a chemical change is a change of materials into another new materials with different cap properties and one or more than one new substance are formed for example rusting rusting mein kya form hota hai iron oxide and physical change in a physical change the appearance or form of the matter changes but the kind of matter in the substance does not no new substance is formed for example different state of neutralization reaction is a chemical change justify this statement with the help of an example definitely neutralization reaction in neutralization reaction acid reacts with a base to form salt and water that is new substance are formed so it is a chemical change for example hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide reacts with reacts to form salt and water now uh, define compose uh, decomposition reaction and give an example of the same a uh, reaction in which more than one product is obtained from a single reactant is called a decomposition reaction for example on strong heating limestone that is calcium carbonate decomposes into quick lime calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas this is decomposition this single substance is compound is decomposed into two new compounds now classify the following reaction into different types of reaction now see here here it is combination reaction there since these two are combined here it is displacement reaction like chlorine ki jagah potassium aa gaya then no no this is neutralization reaction and this is this is displacement reaction and this is decomposition reaction this com combination reaction neutralization reaction displacement reaction and this is decomposition reaction so this is a uh, first one is it is combination reaction because two new uh, two substances combine to form single product whereas second is neutralization reaction because a base reacts with an acid to form salt and water it is a displacement reaction because copper displaces silver from silver nitrate solution to form copper nitrate solution and d is decomposition reaction because barium carbonate decomposes to form barium oxide and carbon dioxide now value based question the school principal told her student that she would like them to follow a special practice of the japanese schools their schools do not keep their staff members for cleaning as such the students themselves work as a team and take pride in maintaining the cleanliness of their school she went on to say that she would like them to replace their old habits by new better habits in a way similar to a displacement reaction in which one element replaces another in a compound so state two values displayed displayed by the students of japanese school so what are they uh, here it is written um, where it is was pride in maintaining the cleanliness that is cleanliness and dutiful that is team spirit and pride in one's work whereas Uh, why did the principal tell her student that the suggested idea is in a way similar to what happens in a displacement reaction? So, principal told her students that their old habit must be replaced by new good ha uh, habits, just like displacement reaction where one element displaces another in a compound. So that's all. Hope this will help. Thank you.